Hey guys, Ken with Noob Alert, and we're here talking about Protostar. I'm joined by the design and development team, and that is... I'm Paulo Munoz, I'm the developer. Uh, Scott Brown, artist. Jonathan Stewart, artist and composer. Nice. So why don't you guys uh, tell the audience a little bit about the game? Well, the game started out as a little project that we decided to put together, and it kind of grew from there. Well, I had Scott over here working on some of the art, and what he did was he said, well, Try this. Try try putting this in this game. Try putting this in the game. And one of the problems I had with him is that he's kept on putting some really interesting art and pushing the art on all these different directions. So it came. It became a synergy where he kept giving me great art. I got great music from John, great backgrounds, and I just had to keep keep uh, keeping up with them just to make the game look good for all the stuff that they were doing. I mean, from a design or like artistic point of view, how would you guys describe this game? Uh, I would describe it as kind of a marriage of the games we used to like to play compared with lessons learned from today. Uh, kind of the idea of taking certain production value ideas and, and bringing them back to kind of a more simplified, more pure, straight direction type of game where you know it's very much just a core idea that's very well polished rather than having lots of extra baggage tacked on. I look at it as more than just your average shooter. It's you know it has an engaging story, so it's not just here comes enemies, blow them up. You know it's 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 more to it than that, and that's what uh, was important for me. I mean, as you go through it, I mean, on first glance, you might think it is just a, a normal shooter, but there is a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of story that uh, drives things along, um, and I think it's pretty you know clear to see that from an end viewer. Um, as far as a development team, you guys are you know a bit smaller. You're definitely local. Have there been any challenges associated with that? Oh, plenty, because for, for the most part, we full-time work doing other stuff, and then we, this is something we have to do our own uh, for our own time. For myself, like, I would, I pretty much gave up on sleep for a little while <laughs> just to get it done. So there was a couple times where I had to stop, and my, my wife and my kids were, like, were a little worried about me. They were cheering me on, but they were a little worried about me because I was spending way too much time on it. So it's more of pacing yourself because you have to balance both what your real job is and what you're doing what you're doing because you love it and that's what you have to do I mean obviously it's got to be a very stressful kind of situation but being so small you guys must be able to get a lot of things done really quickly you must be able to move uh, pretty nimbly and stuff yeah one of the benefits of having a small team uh, especially in our case is that we're all very much on the same page in terms of where we want the game to be what we want it to do and uh, the kind of values we want the game to have. And because of that, we're able to make decisions very quickly just with a quick, you know, unanimous consensus. Do you like it? Do you like it? You cool with it? All right, good, let's do it. And that really streamlines the process and lets us get it moving on it and settle any problems just like that. I mean, if you had your druthers, would you, would you prefer to be in like a small dev team or maybe in a larger one? I prefer the small dev team because then you don't have as many people to please. <laughs> And, you know, pretty much everybody, you know, we give each other honest feedback and what should go in, what shouldn't go in, and just different ways to do things like maybe uh, I didn't see or maybe he didn't see. Or, you know, it's, so it's, I think having a small intimate group is better than a large uh, scale uh, group. Now, is this the only thing that we can look for from, from you guys or do you have other game ideas in the works? We have a long list of games, but uh, they all come in, you know, order of... Uh, I guess how we can do them and what we're capable of doing. Are we talking just uh, like other shooters or? Well, we have uh, platforming games, we have RPGs in, in the works, and uh, hopefully a fighter. Fighters, rather. <laughs> now, if people want to find more about your uh, development studio, um, do you guys have a website that they can go to? Well, we set up a website called bittybash.com. That's B I T T Y bash.com. We're uh, adding more stuff over there. We have a little portfolio we're going to start putting together for you guys. Uh, for Protostar, this is just the beginning for it. We have a director's cut coming out in about three to four months, which actually adds more, more gameplay modes, more music, and a lot more uh, higher definition art. So there's a lot of stuff we're adding to it. So uh, look forward to a lot more changes and a lot more games that we have in mind. Because uh, we, we don't just love just shooters. We just love games in general. We love sharing it with everyone. So we hope that you guys uh, stay tuned to what, we're, what we have in mind. And anything else that you guys want to put out there? Uh, keep playing games. Rock on, Chicago. Guys, thanks a lot. Thank you.